guys. So, make a history series. So, yeah. I'm gonna make a history series now. So, I'm gonna review everything you need to ace world history in one big fat notebook. But today we're going to review ancient China from 1750 BC to 220 CE. So, as in other great early civilizations, people of ancient China formed, and then, and they settled on major rivers in what would later become important cities. So, ancient China actually settled their civilizations in cities. And then came the Shang Dynasty. The Shang Dynasty built in China's first cities in about 760 BC. The C Dynasties passed down ruling power from one to the next. During the Shang Dynasty, bronze work expert Tong Wong Forest and during this, the people invent the first Chinese writing system. Farming was important during the strict control. Farmers supplied food to the local no noble land in exchange for protection. These are crystal cats, glad that the other wealthy passed power from generation to generation. And just, and here's the map, if you be, you wonder. Then comes the Zhou dynasties. The Zhou Dynasty took control around 10,050 BC and ruled for 800 years. The kings built forts, forts and walls with offending land against each other. Like the Shang Dynasty, the King Shang Dynasty, the Zhou Kingdom would divide terrorists by officials. And then the Hang Dynasty was here. The Hang Dynasty Rebellion began in 206 BC. The first Han Empire, Lu Bang, started an only minor official whose parents headed under the great Gansan Wonsen's rule. And the great China, wall China, and the army was strengthened. Just like that. Next was the great next was the Great Wall of China. So the Great Wall of China was this big wall and this with this big wall it went from miles. I mean miles. Miles from this map right here. This map is of a, where the Great Wall of China is. It went from China from a from a big place. And that's all you need to know. Then came the Silk Road. The Silk Road was not actually one road. It was more of 400 mile long system of trade routes that concerned China to Europe. The Middle East, North America travel safe and Silk Road, old, could, which could own bandits. Murderers and bandits, murderers, and Mongol armies. Chinese silk variable through which it was were proud to show spine. And then here's the map of where the Silk Road went to. Then came Confucianism. Confucianism is was a famous Chinese teacher and plausible. Born in 501 BC, 51 BC, a noble by four family worked family. He worked hard to pass on forgotten teachings of thinkers earlier age and bring peace to stability of people of China, family and friends. Confucius holds five human relationships, ruler and ruled, friend and friend. Husband and wife, older sibling and younger sibling, father and son. Confucius didn't classify other relationships like mother and father, son and daughter. And this is where the rest is. Then comes the Sodiasm. The Sodiasm is a younger philosophy around the time of Confucianism in 500 BC. It was based off writings, writings of Lazuli, also spelled Lazuli. Flowers were would believe happiness came from leading and balance from harmony with nature. And then came the yin, the yin yang. The yin and the yang is probably the most well known terror symbol in the modern world. Yin is the dark side, represents shade, water, west, and tiger. Yang is the light side, associated with light, fire, east, dragon, dragon. Separating, yin yang represents the opposite together. Their bounces bring harmony to the universe. And now we reach the end. Divided China. By 200 
20 cc what would lloyd taken the control of toward the high dynasty by civil war divided china into smaller kingdoms it would would take 400 years before the next green dynasty emerged and this is divided china which would come back to the day so yeah also there's the question part so yeah i'll see you next time bye